So you have the RN title. Um, <laughs> how many CIO RNs do we have out there? It's very few. I think that may be growing. I, I know about I know of about five. Um, well, how, so tell us about your role. How did you end up as a CIO going that that track? Yeah, it's really interesting because if I thought about what I was going to be when I grow up, this would not have been where I would have even remotely placed myself. So I started my career in pediatric, or not in pediatric, in interventional cardiology transplant as a nurse. That was really where my passion was. I always wanted to be in healthcare. I grew up, my best friend, when I grew up, she, her dad was a nurse anesthetist. And so I originally thought that's what I wanted to do is I wanted to be a nurse anesthetist. I went to nursing school and I had one visit to the OR and decided that's not for me. <laughs> and so I ended up doing an intensive care nursing and floor nursing, which is where my passion started. And it's funny, I worked at a really large teaching institution and in the, in 1995, that institution decided they were going to implement physician order entry. And the way they chose to do it is they said, we're going to take nurses from each area, 35 nurses, and they are going to be the physician trainers. They're going to do the building. We're going to train them on how to build systems. And they're going to be that support for those physicians. And at that time, we didn't really, we had a dumb terminal on the nurses station. We didn't really have computers. And my nurse manager said, hey, Teresa, you're pretty good with physicians. Would you like to do this? It's a two-year project. You'll do this for a couple of years, and then you'll go back to your nursing job. And at that time, all I heard was no weekends, no nights, no holidays. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, sure, sign me up. So I, sometimes in life, if you take, you just sometimes do things that you don't really 100% know what it is. And what I learned through that was, first of all, IT projects are never over. They really are living, breathing entities that last forever. And I realized that I liked it and I saw the value in taking technology and improving outcomes and improving clinical care. So from that point, I decided I would get a master's in informatics. I worked at Ernst Young in consulting. I worked at WebMD in the dot-com era, worked at McKesson for a while, but my true heart is really and passion is in the acute care space and so that's how I circled back I was at Ascension prior to here and then this opportunity came up and I'm like I want to I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> <laughs>